you know, get a win and kind of jump start this season? Yeah, it's a huge challenge, and obviously we need the win, and um, couldn't be a tougher place to play. Hard to ask for a better opponent too, so the challenge is there, and we got to meet it. What, uh, the atmosphere they always talk about the atmosphere there with the Bills Mafia and all that. What, what, are, you, what are you learning about that? Kind of yeah, I mean, I think you always see the stuff on social media with the tables and the, the crazy fans stuff like that. So it'll be hostile, but I think that just kind of makes it more exciting for us. What do you see from their defense? Um, a really experienced defense. They've been in the same scheme for a long time, so the guys are really comfortable with it. Um, Really attacking front seven, kind of get after you. They want to get after your quarterback, and they're going to be aggressive up front. And it's a really, really good defense for sure. I know it's important every week, but you know, going into mm -hmm. that hostile environment, you know, facing good defense, how important is it going to be to kind of run the ball and quiet that crowd a little bit, just sustain drives, keep the third downs manageable. Very important. Yeah, I think the rhythm will be huge, and like you said, staying out of those third downs, and where the crowd can really get loud, and um, getting into the rhythm of a drive, and that's going to be the, the goal as an offense is to, to get that rhythm going and score points and keep that crowd quiet. Confidence level may be boosted by going through a game, not giving up a sack. It, 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 you know, it's been 33 games since that had happened with this team. Yeah, I mean, obviously protecting a quarterback is always a priority for us. Um, we know that there are still a lot of things to fix, and we're going against another, another really good front with some guys who really like to get after the passer. So um, no one's – I think there's con we're confident but not relaxed. You know, I think the urgency is still there because we've got a great front coming up. Um, but, yeah, that's always something, a point of pride for us. But how much does that really help, though, when you build – a couple games, being able to find some continuity there on the line, and it seems like it is building from the left side over. Uh, yeah, I think continuity is a big thing. I think that at least for the guys that I've been playing next to Lloyd and Lloyd and JC is, you know, I think we're starting to feel really comfortable with each other and and how we play and kind of our feel of the game and how we work together. And I think that's been that's been really improving, and, and we've been getting better at it and plenty to improve on. But happy with how that's gone so far. Well, that improving slowly every single time, uh, every single game, and. Uh, I think there's a lot left out there, a lot left to improve on, and uh, I'm just excited to get out there and keep working on it and keep improving. Your so. first year with Pollard, what's maybe impressed you about him uh, and being his teammate? Um, just, uh, I mean, he's, he's hard worker. Um, he's not afraid to stick his hat in there no matter whether he's running or pass pro, stuff like that. Um, and obviously going from Derek to him, it's two completely different run styles. So, uh, yeah, it's just cool to have a have a running back, another great running back in the backfield after going from Derek to him. I mean, it's like uh, going without a hiccup. Like I said, they're two different uh, two different run styles, and just uh, watching him be able to run the ball um, behind us and average more than five yards carry is awesome. What's the challenge on uh, Sunday in Buffalo? Uh, obviously, road environment. Um, they they always have great fans, um, loud noise, all that stuff. Um, so being able to operate, communicate. Uh, and just uh, continue to finish drives and run the ball like we did uh, uh, against the Colts. I think that will be vital uh, for our success. How much you guys looking forward to the opportunity of, like you said, going on the road in a style environment and beating a good team and kind of you know, jumpstart this season? Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, it will be vital for us to, to like you said, jumpstart the season. I mean, obviously, one and four is not where anybody wants to be. Um, so it's going to be a huge opportunity for us, and we have to go out there and execute, and it just comes down to that uh, so we can jumpstart the season. So. Um, I think it's been great. Um, I've been playing up to the standard, and um, I just got to keep striving and keep going. You, you seem like you've been a confident guy since you've been here, but it, has that given you more confidence the way you played the last couple of weeks? Um, of course, of course, of course. Um, my guys, they give me a lot of confidence, man. You know, like I said, since I walked in here since day one, um, my coaches and these guys, they believed in me. Um, they believed in my game, my technique. So um, for me, man, it's just proving them right. What was the reaction in the uh, DB room when they found out that the Bills are trading for Mark Cooper? Uh, I don't know. We really, we really ain't get to talk about it yet. But um, we kind of was home when it happened. But um, for me, I was like, I was like, wow, like that's 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 the moves they making. But um, Coop, Coop is from Miami, so as me. So um, you know, it's gonna be great to go against a guy that I looked up to. That's a big brother to me. Josh Allen, just the challenge he brings, keeping plays alive and can't ever kind of give up on a play. Um, he's a tough guy. You know, he's a tough-nosed quarterback. Um, he's a physical guy. And um, we know he's going to come to play. You know, uh, we in their backyard. Um, so they're going to try to defend their turf. But um, we just got to, you know, ignore the noise, block out all the noise and play our game, Titans football. Jarvis, they also get their tight ends involved a lot in this uh, bigger body. Like, mm -hmm. how, how, how kind of tough is it to bring those bigger guys down as well? Um... Uh, look, uh, it's much tougher than, uh, than bringing regular guys down. 
But um, like I said, man, they, it's this game gonna be one off physicality. Like um, we know they're physical. Our defense physical. So man, it's gonna be who's the most physical throughout the game and who's finished the game the most physical. Uh, physical. So that's all it's gonna come down to. You relish the opportunity in a crazy environment like that, and what have you heard? About oh man, that uh, <laughs> we know they got a um. I know they got a great winning record at home. So um, I know it's a tough place to play there, and um. You know, um, James Cook, that's one of my close brothers, um, very close with him. And um, just used to have talks with him back then before I even got in this, into this situation. And just hearing, like, how it is up there, their fans and things like that. So, man, I know, I know it's going to be a tough environment. But um, this is what you come to the National Football League for, you know, um, the playing games like this, the going environments like that, get that experience, and um, just see how it feels. How young were you when you met James Cook? Um... I think I first met James Cook. I had to be about probably the age of five. Um, me and James, we stayed right next door each, to each other. So, man, I've been knowing James since I was a kid, since I was in Pampers, damn near. So um, that's a guy that I'm really close with, and um, that's a big brother to me. And I'm ready, I'm ready to play him and face off against him. Emphasis is this week was, you know, just finishing in the fourth quarter. You know, I think it was all, all of our fourth quarter games, you know, where we're – the game was decided by one score. We didn't score in the fourth quarter, so that's uh, been emphasis this week. Is just making sure that we finish the game, you know, and getting you know points in that fourth, fourth quarter. We talked to Will about his confidence, and he said he maybe let his edge slip a little bit after the mm -hmm. Miami game and the injury there, and he's not going to let that happen again. How do you see him progressing throughout this season? Uh, I mean, I see him, you know, knowing exactly what he said. He's not going to let it happen. I feel like he's, you know, he's an ultimate competitor, you know, if he felt like that. And, you know, that's what he said. I feel like he's going to come back, you know, super strong, ready to go. I mean, I don't see him doing anything else besides that. So. You kind of refer to it, but just Thank you. how much are you guys relishing the opportunity to go up and, you know, play a good football team on the road and get yeah. in and, and, and kind of jump start in the season? Yeah, it's really huge for us. You know, for me, it's really big, you know. I played up there before. A lot of guys on the team haven't played up there. You know, it's an amazing environment. You know, it's a super fun environment. It's those type of environments that, you know, like, it's not a primetime game, but, like, it's, it's the next best thing to that. So, and just knowing, that, you know, where we are right now as, a, as an offense and as a team, you know, we're in a hole. So, you know, we're not scared of the challenge at all, man. Even though we're down, like, we, we're actually embracing it. We're ready to go up there and, you know, and play against a good defense and show that, you know, we're capable. Is there anything more gratifying than going on the road to an environment like that and shutting down a home crowd that you know is going to Nah, man, that, that's, that'll be the best feeling ever, you know, to go up there, you know, all their fans coming out, you know, thinking they're going to, you know, have a, you know, parade and just go up there and just shut them up. You know, that, that'll be a good feeling. So, you know, that's our goal, go up there, win the game, uh, go up there, play good football. It's going to be on the road against a great team, a great environment, so it's going to be a good challenge for us.